Making a withdraw from your BitGet account to your M-Pesa account sometimes can be frustrating, especially if you're not familiar with the P2P payment system. And that's the reason as to why I'm making this video to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can withdraw your funds from your BitGet account to your M-Pesa account using P2P. And for those of you that don't have a BitGet account, I have a link down in the description box that you can use to create an account and also ensure that your account is verified. Once you log into your BitGet account on the dashboard, you should be able to spot the buy crypto icon on the top left side of the page. And once you tap on that, you should be able to see the P2P trading icon. Then you need to tap on that and you will be redirected to this new page where you can now see the merchants that you can use to initiate that transaction to your M-Pesa account. And the first thing that I need you to do is just tap on the sell icon because we are selling our dollars back into fiat. Then I need you to ensure that you have selected USDT and for the fiat currency, I will be using Kenya shillings and that is because I'm in Kenya. Then the next step is to select a suitable merchant and that is based on the number of transactions completed in the last 30 days. Also check the completion rate. Also check whether the merchant is online. Then you also need to check the limits and also the payment methods that will be used. And you can see on this page, I have this merchant who has completed 30 orders in the last 30 days, has a completion rate of 100%. He is also online. He has an exchange rate of 129.1 Kenya shillings to $1. Then the limit is between 5,000 Kenya shillings to a maximum of 5,000 Kenya shillings. And you can also see the payment methods over there. We have M-Pesa, we have bank transfer, and we also have M-Pesa pay bill. But for me, I need to check for a merchant who has a lower limit, like the one down here who has a limit of between 13, 1300 Kenya shillings to a maximum of 13,000 Kenya shillings. And because my limit, that is the amount that I want to withdraw, fits within this limit, I can use this merchant to make that transaction. And all I need to do is just tap on the sell icon. And on this page, I need to provide the amount that I want to sell, which is 12.11 USDT. Then you can see that down there, the amount that I will be receiving in Kenya shillings. Then you also need to select the payment method, which is M-Pesa. And for those of you that have not yet added any payment methods, all you need to do is just tap on the add payment method icon, then provide your details. Once that is done, all I need to do is just tap on the sell icon. Once you tap on the sell icon, you can see the merchant details. That is her name. You can also see your details over there and the amount that you will be receiving. On the right side of the page, we also have a chat where you can be able to communicate with the merchant. So you can try to chat with the merchant on the right side of the page as you wait for the payment to be processed. After waiting for a few minutes, I've managed to receive the funds on my M-Pesa account. And now I can go ahead and tap on confirm payment and send the coins. And that is because I've managed to receive the money on my M-Pesa account. Then I need to confirm that I have received that amount of money. Then confirm and, and then go through the security verification checks. So that is the step-by-step -step guide that you need to follow. And once you have received your funds, you can go ahead and leave a positive comment down there. And that's all for this video.